natural processes. What happens when you like questions and answer? Number one, two, three. Then again, other questions there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and other types of questions as well. Changes in size, solids becoming liquid, liquids becoming solid, liquids becoming gas, and gases becoming liquid. So it means today we are going to discuss about natural process. With this note, hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in today's class. Today we are going to discuss natural processes. And my dear, this channel, dear LG, is one of the best channel in YouTube for getting information about valuable information about English grammar and literature. Let's start the video. As I told you already, my dear, we are going to discuss about natural processes. What happens when you? What happens when you? Put a lump of ice in a glass of lemonade. It melts. What happens when you leap a pool over in hot water? It shrinks. What happens when you leave liquid cement on the ground? It sets. Yes, my dear, what happens when you put a lump of ice in a glass of lemonade or lemon? It naturally melts. It obviously it melts. You have to write there wow, five. It melts. Leave a pool over in hot water, it shrinks. Again, you have to write wow, five in every answer, my dear. This is GK type question as well. Leave liquid cement on the ground. It says, all of you know that when we leave or if we leave liquid cement on the ground, it obviously it naturally it says now let's talk about other questions as well my dear let's talk about other questions as well leave a ball of water outside in the sun okay leave a ball of water outside in the sun what will happen it evaporates you have to write ball five there it evaporates because we are talking about natural processes Number five, leave a ball of water outside at the south pole. Leave a ball of water outside at the south pole. What happens? It freezes, my dear. Question number six, what happens when you leave a ball of hot water in front of a mirror? Listen this question carefully, my dear. What happens when you leave a ball of hot water, a ball of hot water in front of a mirror? It naturally, it obviously condenses the word my dear keep in mind it condenses when you know anyone talks about this kind of gk this kind of question there what happens or what we happen when you leave a ball of hot water in front of a mirror and you have to answer it condenses c o n d e n s e s bar five condenses okay number seven there my dear what happens when you put a lump of sugar in your coffee it dissolves okay what will happen or what happens when you put a lump of sugar in your coffee my dear what happens it naturally it obviously it dissolves let's go to another question other questions as well my dear let's talk about this question more a what happens when you blow into a balloon you would have seen this kind of scene in your life my dear what might be that word to denote that you know what happens when you blow into a balloon it expands. Please keep in mind you might this you might use this word. You have to use this word. In fact, you have to, you must use this word to denote, you know, what happens when you blow into a balloon. It expands. Question 9, my dear. What happens when you power cold water onto hot metal? It contracts. The word we have to use there to denote power cold water onto hot metal. It contracts. What happens when you power cold water onto hot metal? It contracts. Question number 10, my dear. What happens when you leave rice in a ball of water? It swells. When we leave rice in a ball of water, what happens? It obviously swells. So, my dear, what happens when you fill a ball with blood and leave it? So, what is the answer, my dear? I have not written the word here. You can search this question yourself as well. But but I will definitely tell you the answer, my dear. 
what happens when you feel a ball of a ball of a ball with blood and live it okay okay next feel a ball with blood and live it i mean what happens when you leap when you feel a ball with blood and leave it you need to write my dear it congeals c o n g e a l e s yes my dear keep in mind c o n g e a l e s it congeals next talk about let's talk about other type of questions as well the same kind of exercise but a bit in a different way not a single word like this expands contracts swells a bit different exercise i'm going to show you i'm going to show you that the strategy again Once again, my dear, if you like this video, if you watching this video, and we, and if 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 this if the contents of this video are fruitful for you, helpful for you, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on all notification. So let's talk about other questions as well. As I told you immediately, you know, one of the words that we have to use, we have to use to denote changes in size. From the same questions one to question eleven, my dear, I have chosen these words from the same exercise there. But but you have to write these words in a group like like you need to write the, all the words that denotes changes in size. And the words are my dear, expand. This also denotes changes in size. Stretch also denotes changes in size. Contract also shows changes in size. Sink also shows changes in size. And swell also shows changes in size. That is why, my dear, shoal, swing, contract, stretch, and expand. These all words denotes changes in size. And these two words, my dear, these two words, as I as as I have written here, melt and dissolve. Tell me, tell me, dissolve and melt. Solids becoming liquid. You know, dissolve and melt denotes solids becoming liquid. When solids become liquid, what are the words that we can use? Dissolve or melt. So. See, they are liquids becoming solid. Congeal, set, freeze. To denote liquids becoming solid, we need to use the words like freeze, set, and congeal. The next one, liquids becoming gas. My dear, what kind of words we have to use there to denote liquids becoming gas? Evaporate. When we talk about liquid becoming gas, the word that we need to use, the word that denote liquids becoming gas, is evaporate. And the last one, my dear, gases becoming liquid, condense. Condense denote gases becoming liquid. So once again, my dear, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please do share this video with your family and friends. Do comments, click the like button, and subscribe this channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.